Welcome to your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored today and this week by 4i, the growth and foresight analytics leader. Hi, I'm Eric Taylor. I've been a consumer insights professional in CPG and retail for the last 20 years at Fortune 500 companies. 4i Consulting helped me develop an innovation strategy for a major snacks company. It delivered a comprehensive framework that informed where to focus with prescriptive direction that greatly improved our business plan and successful new product launches. I highly recommend 4i Consulting to help you grow your business. Last week, I began my 19th year covering the market research industry, and one thing I can say for sure is that all this gray hair didn't come from working in market research. There have been a lot of other extenuating circumstances. But a key area that I've noticed where there has been indisputable improvement is in the training of the incoming generation of researchers. However, today is our new Great Mind series continues. Ray Pointer explains in our Two Minutes With segment that there are certain specific skills severely lacking in today's entry-level employees, something he hasn't seen before. And that is creating a serious issue for everyone in our business. Hi, I'm Ray Pointer, and I'm wishing you a happy new year from London, and I'd like to talk to you about using basic skills. I run a range of courses for a variety of organizations, such as SMR, market research societies, and recently the Australian Marketing Institute, in places as diverse as London, Miami, Sydney, Singapore, and even Tokyo. And over the last few years, I've become aware that the basic skills of young and some not-so-young market researchers are simply not up to scratch. When I say the basic skills, I really do mean the basic skills. I mean things like being able to work with percentages. For example, rebasing a set of percentages if one of the options is removed. In Excel, I mean using things like absolute references, the built-in function, and smart film, and things like that. In Microsoft Word, I mean, not using spaces to line things up. The proper use of styles. In PowerPoint, I expect young researchers to know how to link presentations, how to work with images, how to keep the file size under a massive 25 megabytes. In Google, I want them to be able to search properly, to know how to define terms that are likely to focus in on what they're looking for, how to use Boolean search terms, for example. And these young people are bright. In my opinion, some of the brightest ever to join our research industry. The problem is that they have not been taught the basic skills. They're not being taught these skills at school and university, so they need to be taught by employers. The trade body is need to focus on market research skills, such as survey design, focus group moderating, through to advanced topics like conjoint and ethnography. It's up to the employers to concentrate, I believe, on these core skills. I think there are some opportunities for freelance trainers and for some colleges and universities to put these courses on. Market research can't be the only profession that is suffering from bright young entrants with great skills in areas like presenting, being creative, and quite often some business savvy, but frankly shocking core skills. Market researchers should believe in evidence and be ready to produce answers. Bright young people are joining the industry with some great strengths, but with poor basic skills. The answer is to invest money and time in them to develop those skills. That's what I think, and I'm Ray Pointer. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by 4i, the growth and foresight analytics leader. Thanks for being with us today. Have a great research day, and please plan on joining us again tomorrow.